typically we begin with the right upper quadrant. Uh, we like to look at the gallbladder since it's right up there. Make sure there's no stones. Um, we look at the right kidney and the liver. Uh, make sure there's no fluid in Morrison's pouch. Uh, if there's a ruptured appendicitis, you might get fluid up there. Once we establish that, we, we, um, we go a little bit down. And right here, you have the ascending colon. It's mostly, usually you're just going to see a pocket of air in that region. Over here, you can see the iliac artery and iliac vein. Scan a little bit down, and then right here, just below the cecum, you have the appendix. And as you can see, this is appendix right here. This is appendix right here as well. And also this right here. So these three circles, that's the appendix. And there it is again. There's a tiny bit of free fluid. It was about three, three and a half millimeters. It's normal. Over here again, you can see the iliac artery and iliac vein. Just posterior to it, you'll have the psoas muscle. And then this is in sagittal. And as you can see in slow motion, this appendix is very serpiginous. And you can see these echogenicities within it, and that's air. Uh, you don't always see that, but you can see air in the appendix. Here's the tip. Uh, so you can sometimes you see a little bit of fluid or, you know, material within the appendix as well.